Hi everyone and welcome back. It's Vicky here and today I have a flower card for you, perfect for Mother's Day. Today I will be working with the Alta New Morning Glory stamp set. It is another uh, layering stamp set that has just been released and it comes with two different flowers and each one of them has different layers that you stamp one on top of the other and you can see the guide at the back of the packaging. Now there is a giveaway on my blog, so if you want to win $20 gift certificate for the Alte New website, make sure to visit my blog. You will find the link down below if you are watching on YouTube. I always like to store my Alte New stamps and ties together in this Ziploc bag. And now I will start stamping. For stamping all the different layers, I'm going to use three oval sets, two for the flowers and uh, the green one, which is called Tropical Forest, for the leaves. Now, just because I'm starting with uh, two stamps that I have never used and I need to prep them so they stamp nicely, I like to rub my hand on top. This is a great tip if you want to have uh, perfect stamping from the first time without any splotches. Now for doing all my stamping I'm going to use my Tim Holtz stamping platform and every time I'm going to stamp a layer from each of my flowers so I will end up having two flowers at the end. For one of the flowers I'm using inks from the shades of purple oval set while for uh, the second flower I'm using inks from the cherry blossom oval set. Now I'm moving on to the second layer and uh, I'm using a shade darker ink from each of the sets and I absolutely adore these oval sets because they make my life easy since I don't have to look around and look for uh, inks that match together. Now if you want to get these remember that they are available also in little cubes so they are more economical and you can uh, build up your stash easier. I have also stamped a couple of leaves and now I'm using the matching dies. I'm going to secure everything down with some uh, purple tape. I absolutely adore this tape. It is uh, low tack and uh, it doesn't leave any residue at all. And I'm going to use my mini blossom die cutting machine which uh, I think is uh, the most um, adorable die cutting machine out there. Now for the small flower, if you use the die, it is going to cut out the space where you want to stamp the stem as well. But I didn't want to use that, I just wanted to, to pop up only the flower and that's why I'm going to use my scissors to cut out what's left from the die. Now I'm going to work on a piece of uh, white cardstock. This is four and a quarter by five and a half and I'm going to stamp the stems. For the stems I'm using Parrot, which uh, comes from the oval sets, which is called um, Tropical Forest. And these are the inks that I used also for my leaves. So everything matches perfectly. Now one of the stems consists of uh, two different layers, so I'm going to place the second layer there and stamp it with the lighter color this time, which is, um, I believe, bamboo. For this particular stem, there are actually a couple of uh, tiny little stamps that you stamp one on top of the other. They actually create a little triangle and at the top of that triangle you place the flower. So remember the die that you saw me use earlier, it's going to cut out the flower and the stem at once. To add more interest on my card, I'm going to use this curly little uh, stem. I don't know how this is called in English. Anyway, I just love the look. It adds a whimsical look to my card. And I'm actually going to stamp it a couple of times. You can of course for this design leave the background white. I want to have a more archy look to it so I'm going to add some splashes. I'm using one of the shimmer sprays by Altenew and this is the gold one. And now it's time to put everything together. I have some foam tape at the back of my flowers and the leaves and I'm going to stick everything down. I almost uh, never create flat cards, I always like to have something popping on my card and um, that's why I always have my foam tape or some foam squares close by, since I absolutely love the dimension. 
Now I'm using my paper trimmer and I'm going to chop off a part from the right side of my panel. This way it's going to be smaller than the card base and I do have the opportunity to add a design element on the right of my card. So all I'm going to do is to just stick there a piece of um, pattern paper in black and white stripes. I'm going to add some foam tape at the back of my panel and then stick that directly on top of my card base. And now of course you can leave the background as it is, but this is where I decided that I wasn't happy with the background. I wanted to add some black dots at the back, some black splashes, so that uh, is going to bring everything together, the black stripes, with the rest of my design. Of course you don't have to take this uh, design into so archy looking, you can leave it white as it was in the beginning. And finally I'm going to stick my sentiment, which is white embossed on a black piece of paper. And that was the card for today with these lovely morning glory flowers. Don't forget that I have a giveaway on my blog, so make sure to visit and leave me a comment there. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.